Hello everybody, hello, it's Matthew Street and welcome to my channel. I'm so happy you're here. Welcome folks, always humbled and honored to have viewers, believe me. And folks, you might be saying, Matt, I know not too long ago you did a video about the raspberries. Yeah, a while back I did do a video all about the raspberries, folks, but um, I've got some new vinyl in that I really want to show you, so I decided to make it a little more interesting. I'm just going to show you everything I have of the raspberries, uh, everything that I could find and dig up pretty much, and I wanted to go through it all with you. As you know, the raspberries are one of my favorite, absolute favorites of all time. Formed in Cleveland, Ohio in 1970, a British invasion influence band for sure. Uh, you know, they were young kids during the early part of the 60s when groups like the Beatles and the Who, the Hollies, the Small Faces, the Kinks, those were their big influences, folks. Big, big influences. That really hardcore British invasion sound filled with beautiful harmonies, well crafted melodies. The Raspberries had it all. They had great, great musicianship, singing, songwriting, and it's a darn shame that they only got as far as they did before just internal conflicts and also external factors, not, you know, uh, musical times were changing and they didn't quite have the success that they really should have had and they ca called it a day in 1975 officially. Now they did get back together, the four original members did get back together for a reunion tour in 2004, which went into 2005. They de then got back together again in 2007 and did some more shows. And the last time they really got together officially was back in 2009. They did a special event at the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. So it's been, you know, it's been a good 11, going on 12 years since they've really done anything together. And that's a shame because I thought the reunion, when they got back together in the mid-2000s, was ultra successful. People were so happy and excited to see them together again. And one live album, or I should say two live albums, did come out of those reunions, and I'll be showing those and talking about them as well. So let's get right into it, folks. First, I thought I'd show you one of the first CDs I ever got of the Raspberries was this on Capitol Records. Okay, this came out and I want to say, let's see, 1991. And I was so excited when this came out, folks. This has so many great songs. Now, it's going to be hard to see with this kind of paisley design here, but you get a whole grouping of songs. It's a great, great set. This was one of the first Raspberry CDs to come out. And I got to tell you, folks, it's, it's fabulous. You get a little booklet with it. It tells you all the stories about the band. How they formed, very, you know, like a Reader's Digest version, but uh, just great, great stuff. There's a centerpiece there. It's just a great CD, folks. Highly, highly recommend it to you. Um, it's been out 30 years now. Can you believe it? Wow, 1991. But uh, this is a fabulous little comp to get if you just want everything all in one nice little set, okay? But that was enough of me because I wanted, back in the early 90s, I said, I want all four of their original albums on CD. You know, CDs had just come out a few years earlier and we didn't have a lot of stuff available in America. So I had to go overseas, well, not physically. <laughs> I didn't fly over to Japan to get these, although I may have if I had the money. But I ordered these from a uh, website or some, I forget how, back in those days in 1990, one, these came out in 19, I'm sorry, these came out in 1990. I don't know how you would have gotten them then with the internet being so fresh and new. But somehow I managed to get these four Japanese CDs. As you can see the writing in Japanese on the back. I'll just show you one of the... Okay, so... Again, from Japan, imported over here. I got their first album, which was Raspberries. From 1972, early part of 72. Fresh Raspberries, which came out in the latter part of 1972, was their second album. Great, great stuff. Uh, the first album is Go All The Way, Don't Want To Say Goodbye. On the second album, you get Let's Pretend, I Want To Be With You, among others. Great, great albums. Then the third album, which is called Side 3, came out in 1973. 
There's a Japanese CD that I got of that. Now these are all available. You can get them pretty much domestically if you just go online to like Amazon or your favorite outlet. You can get them all. They've, they've been reissued in different, uh, you know, album jacket type style and you can, you can get them. But this was, you know, back in the day, this 1990, 1991, this was the only way to get their CDs. You had to spend a little more money and go through these Japanese outlets. And their final official album, Starting Over, original album, 1974, which is a fabulous album. It's probably my favorite of their albums. It has Overnight Sensation, hit record. It has the song Starting Over. A lot of great songs on this one, folks. So, those are my four Japanese CDs. Then, uh, the UK imported these two CDs. I got these from the UK... I want to say 1996 these came out. You got the um, first and second album on this volume all on one CD which was nice and you know compact and everything was all together and you got a group, big grouping of songs from the first and second album on this CD. You can see it shows the two album covers down here. Again these were from the UK, imports from the UK. And they're called, in case you want to look them up, uh, Raspberry's Power Pop Volume 1 and Power Pop Volume 2. <laughs> and here's the second volume. And the back, they're getting the third and the fourth album, side three and starting over all on one. Very nice. Uh, a tribute album to them called Raspberry's Preserved came out in 1996 as well with a lot of indie artists and well-known artists covering their songs. You can focus that in or try to. <laughs> Alright, this is a great, great little CD, folks. Great CD. They do some great versions of the Raspberry music here. Okay. Now, believe it or not, in 2000, uh, Wally Bryson, who was the original guitarist, Dave Smalley, the original bassist, both songwriters and singers, along with Scott McCarl, who was on the fourth and final Starting Over album, and he was a great member of the man, uh, the band, I should say the man. Uh, they put out a six-song EP called Raspberries, Pres uh, not, uh, Raspberries Refreshed, <laughs> an EP, and that came out in 2000, and I ordered it at the time and got all three guys to sign it. So Scott McCarl, uh, Scott McCarl's up here, Dave Smalley signed it here, and Wally Bryson down here. And Eric Carmen and Jim Bonfanti, the original drummer, didn't join them for this, but it is still a great CD if you can find it, EP I should say, six great songs. And my last CD is, I don't have this on vinyl yet, but when they did the reunion tours in 04, and then again in 05, they released a uh, double live album called Live on the Sunset Strip. This is fabulous, folks. Great, great stuff. Taken from their reunion tour. Nice, nice package. I believe it came out on vinyl, but I'm not 100% sure. Uh, but you get a DVD with some of the songs from the show, and you get two CDs. You get a booklet with it. It's just a great, great set. Double live. Raspberries live at the Sunset Strip. Okay. Again, I believe it is on vinyl, but I've never located it, so I have the CD. Now, real quick, show you their albums on vinyl. Here's the first one, Raspberries. Vinyl. And I, what I like about this one is on the red capital Target label, which is nice. The second one, Fresh Raspberries. And that is on the Capital Orange label. The third album, Side 3, was very cool because they did a die cut. They did like a bushel of raspberries. <laughs> Side 3 has a little hype sticker still on it. Includes the smash hit, Tonight. Great song, by the way. Tonight is fabulous. Here's the back of the bushel. Capitol Records. You open it up, very cool. There's the die cut with the inside, all the credits over here. Came with a nice 
inner sleeve, a very unique inner sleeve with pictures of the band. And it's also on the orange capital label. Side three, one of their hardest rocking albums out of the four original albums. It really rocks, folks. And last but not least, my favorite Raspberries album, starting over. At this time, Mike McBride took over from Jim Bonfanti on drums, and Scott McCarl took over on bass and vocals for Dave Smalley. But it's still a top-notch band, and I, these guys are fabulous, along with Eric Carmen, Wally Bryson. Great, great album, folks. Really check, check out some Raspberries, folks. I'm, I'm doing this to show you the new stuff I got, the new piece of vinyl I really want to show you. It's also on the Orange Capitol. Um, but they're just such a great band. I'm doing this to also influence you to give them a listen. Two years later, after they broke up and Eric Carmen's long onto his fabulous solo career, Capitol did a compilation called Raspberry's Best featuring Eric Carmen. I think they highlighted him because he was having some big top 40 success at the time. So they highlighted him. They did like a newspaper style with different things you can read. As you can see on the back, more to read. Not a lot of songs on it, but it's a great compilation. It has some of their best, best songs on it. Came with an inner sleeve, uh, three, which a uh, lot to it, pictures and memorabilia, lyrics, you open it up. More about the band inside. Really good, good stuff, folks. Um, and then a little sleeve where you put the album in uh, over here. And that is also on the orange capital label for that time period, 1976. So, you got all the original four albums. You got the refreshed EP, all the CDs I showed you and everything. Okay, and uh, the Japanese CDs. I went over all that stuff. They came out in 1990. But then, uh, three years ago, in 2017, they came out with an other, another live album from the latter part, no, I'm sorry, from the uh, Sunset Strip. Live at the Sunset Strip was taken from a later show on that reunion. But then a couple of years after that, again, I don't know all the details, I apologize. They put out another live album from another show, a completely different show. So it's not the same material, it's totally different. I hate the cover, I wish they did a better cover, but it's called Raspberries Live, Pop Art Live. And unlike, nice gatefold, and the back. This is a triple live album, folks. Three pieces of vinyl here. And it's great, and I'll show you why. Here's the hype sticker. And here we go. Because, and I don't know if I have them in the right order, but the first disc on Pop Art Live, beautiful gold. Going as fast as I can, folks, but I want to try to get all this in for you. The second one on Pop Art Live from 2017 is a nice blue, royal blue. Trying to get this done. And the last one, Pop Art Live third vinyl, red. Okay. If I didn't show you on the blue one, the labels change on each side, blue to white. Okay, so that was in 2017. They put that on. Oh, I dropped the important <laughs> slip thing. Uh, that was in 2017. They put out Pop Art Live, and it's a great, great live album, folks. It really rocks. I like the mix on it. I think I like the mix, the way they mix the live music on that, better than on Live at the Sunset Strip. Albeit, Live at the Sunset Strip is definitely worth getting. It's a great live reunion album from the Raspberries. So you get two live albums from the Raspberries, from that reunion period from 2004 to 2007. You get Live at the Sunset Strip, which I know is on CD, not sure if it's on vinyl, and then you get Pop Art Live 
which is definitely on vinyl, and I'm not sure if it's on CD, because I don't have the CD. Now, the final thing, and I'm done, folks, I'll be out of your hair, is a couple of years ago, I don't know how I missed this, but the great Friday music, you all know Friday music from Elvis releases, Ringo releases, among so many other artists, released this, and I don't know how I missed it, folks, but thank goodness I was able to get a copy, and if you love colored vinyl, and you love the raspberries and good rock and roll, get this. It's called Raspberry's Greatest Hits. Now this came out as a CD way back in like the mid 90s, I think, like 1995 or something like that. And it was a, a, on CD only. Friday Music has released it on a beautiful colored raspberry vinyl. Wait till you see this thing, folks. Here's the back. Very nice. Has a nice gatefold showing the four original albums. And pictures of the original band there. Dave, Eric, Wally, Jim, there they are, okay, and what's cool about it is they put it on the Capital Red Target label, so they went back to like the beginning on a beautiful raspberry, I know it's going to come across as red or something, but this is a very light raspberry colored vinyl folks, I hope you pick it up, beautiful, beautiful, I'll try to turn it a little bit, but this thing is gorgeous. I've never seen a piece of vinyl this color. It's a very light, beautiful pinkish raspberry. <laughs> if that makes sense. Beautiful. Oh, love it. Just came out, like I said, in 2019, a couple of years ago, and I missed it, or a year and a half ago. I don't know how I missed it, but this is, I just got this in. I wanted to show it to you. I'm really looking forward to listening to it and checking it out, folks. And just so you know, years ago when they did the reunion tour, I was able to get a signed lithograph by all four original members, Dave Smalley, Wally Bryson, Eric Carmen, and Jim Bonfanti. I know you can't see it over Elvis's shoulder here, but that hangs proudly on my wall. It's a lithograph of the first album cover signed by all four original members. I'm happy as a clam. <laughs> I'll tell you folks, what a great band. Raspberries, folks, check it out. If you love colored vinyl, get this beautiful raspberry colored vinyl. Just came out. This is the newest release. Friday Music, the great Friday Music, and the great raspberries. They're fabulous, folks. I'm telling you, check out some of their music and come back and tell me I'm wrong. Well, some of you fresh people might come back and just do that anyway. Ah, you're wrong, Matt. But those of you that really want to get into some new good rock and roll music, check it uh, new for you I mean but you know what I'm saying something you haven't heard before that you may want to explore check out the raspberries folks I'm telling you do it great stuff thanks for being here I hope you enjoyed this I know I kind of rushed through it wanted to show you everything show you all my raspberry vinyl show you all my my CDs and just tell you this band is worth it folks this band is worth it check it out thank you so much for being here I bless you all I appreciate it I'll be back soon Matt Mangles McCartney I'm going to show some Beatles stuff pretty soon, do some discussion on that. I got stuff to show. I'll be back. Bye-bye.